what was the reasoning behind doing this still on Bill 96? What was the reasoning on proposing that amendment? Well, again, it was one of the proposals that were brought forward before there was even like the bill 90, uh, before there was even bill 96. But obviously, this was going to this was done in good faith. But we have to recognize that consulting did not happen the way it should have been. Uh, people should have been more involved. The implications, and when you the the role of a leader is also to say. There's not enough work that has been done. People have not been consulted. There are impacts that we haven't seen. Recognize it and say, okay, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. And to say it. That's why I'm saying now the ball is in the camp of, uh, of, uh, of the cat to find a solution. The perception of voters and your voters is that you created this. They're going to have to live with it. And, they're gonna, and their children are going to have to live with these with these failure rates. We didn't come with the bill 96. We didn't come with the limits. This was your proposal. They, you agreed to this at the table. I heard it. You, we didn't come with bill 96. We didn't come with the limits on the CGEPs. We didn't come with pulling out Dawson. A lot of the work that we've done has been done in good faith. Now, obviously, this government doesn't want to work with us on this. I mean, again, the ball is in their court. They understand the implications now. It's not like they don't understand. They understand the implications. So they need to realize that those implications, the ministers have to talk to uh, the heads of the CGEPs, the minister has to talk to her con his counterpart and really figure out how we're going to prevent people from, uh, uh, from, from failing classes.